Today it is a privilege for me to introduce our first speaker. Our first speaker today has traveled the world. He likes dealing with things without a space, in space. He traveled into the dunes. He served in the Air Force and he also has worked with NASA because he loves working with the things out of space. Uh, he has a, he received a bachelor's degree from the South Carolina State University, a PhD degree from Ohio State. Now, he's going to discuss with us a little bit about there's life outside of our planet. Isn't that a wonderful thing? Mm -hmm. I would like to bring to you now Dr. Montez Benjamin. Let's give him a round of applause. Thank you, Sam. How many of us have actually seen a movie with alien life forms where there's a little green man that came for peace, or even the big giant monsters that won a world domination, or other, all kinds of other purposes? We're doing them. I know that I myself do believe that because there's too much stuff in our world that we don't know nothing about. So many unexplained things that happen every day that we can't figure out why it's going on. So I'm going to prove to you, or at least my reasons for what I believe, that there is life outside of our planet. Mars and Moon, Mars and the Moon is a great example. But Mars actually had one on its surface at one time. Pat Dash and Alan Seaman's article about ancient life on Mars stated that Mars once held water, it had atmosphere, and it also had a warm climate until it was all lost for some unexplained reason. They also believed that since there was life on the planet, since you need water and air to have any type of life, that if they could have went somewhere else for a different planet for anything else, or could it be underground under inside the Mars rock? The moon itself never really contained life. It's more like a boat that is holding life currently. Since Nancy Atkins stated from her article that meteorites from Earth and from other places in the world have hit the dark craters of the moon and is holding either little microcell organisms inside of itself, inside of frozen rocks. Now, for the universe itself, everybody knows that the universe is always ever expanding, ever growing bigger, always evolving. The Big Bang Theory is one of those one theories that says that the world, the universe, is always going to keep getting bigger, like a balloon that is always ever expanding with all the air but never bursting. Chris Rocco and Blair Rothenstein's article, The Big Bang, states that it is not, the Big Bang Theory is not an explosion or implosion, it's more like a big old puzzle that's just coming together at one point in time. Well, scientists, Scientists believe, well, scientists have discovered that there's over 400 planets in our universe so far, and James Owen from the National Geographic says that, has recently stated that there's 32 more planets that's been found in our universe, which are satisfied or bigger, but are still Earth-class planets. Now, the reasons for outside of our universe, now, there always been I mean, reasons for inside of our own world. There has been UFO sightings all the way from Roswell, New Mexico, or Area 51, to the Bermuda Triangle, which is out in the Sea of Miami, or the Gulf of Mexico, Atlantic Ocean, and prior even to not Moscow, Russia. Now, everybody knows Area 51. All the main stories that surround it about government conspiracies with aliens and all that. Well, Robert Lazar, stated that, who is also a Nevada reporter, stated that he witnessed the American, the American um, Army getting alien technology for all, all kinds of reasons. Well, he was the original person that started the whole conspiracy theories for the Area 51 in Roswell, New Mexico. The Bermuda Triangle was something that has been around everywhere. It's been named Bermuda Triangle, but Ever since Christopher Columbus, who originally got lost in the Bermuda Triangle, has stated that it has messed with all kinds of magnetic forces that de destroy compasses. And Blaine J. Quasar, who has a whole database about his finds on or information on the Bermuda Triangle, has shown information that about hundreds of planes and ships have been lost within the triangle. 
Now, nobody can explain what happens within that triangle. Amir Earhart also got lost within the triangle, which is from Miami to Puerto Rico into the Atlantic Ocean. With that, so I'll let you ask y'all all these questions. What if the ruins that are in our world have come from an alien life form? What if the great deities of beings that you have your living around was actually an alien life form from another planet? What if the dead languages of our world is an alien language? What if we <coughs> ourselves, who was theorized to just appear out of the ocean on Earth one day, was actually beings from another planet? 